In this next story, taken from the official accounts of the West Virginia State Police, Troopers James Brammer and Ronald Hicks try to serve a warrant on a man with other ideas in mind. West Virginia State Police Troopers First Class James Brammer and Ronald Hicks are on their way to serve a warrant to Lionel Crawford for not appearing in court on a hit-and-run charge. John did say he was going to call, didn't he? Yes, he did. 63-year-old Crawford and his wife are at home waiting for a phone call from a family friend. Don't tell them nothing. Don't tell them I'm here. Crawford sees the troopers pull up, and having skipped bail twice on the hit and run, he knows he'll be taken to jail. Brammer and Hicks move quickly to the front door. They want to get to the door before Crawford has a chance to hide. Mrs. Crawford, may we come in and talk to you for a minute, please? Where's Lionel? Lionel who? Lionel Crawford, your husband. We have a warrant for his arrest. He's working. Do you mind if we take a look around? No, sir. Does he have any guns in the house? Yes, sir, a few. Hicks, who's been a trooper for 11 years, arrested Crawford some months before on a similar charge. Crawford had tried to escape, so the troopers are being extremely cautious. Knowing the suspect could be armed, the troopers carefully go through the house room by room. But the initial search turns up nothing. his partner under fire when we come back. West Virginia State Troopers James Brammer and Ronald Hicks have gone to serve a warrant on a man who tries to hide from them. The man opens fire, wounding Hicks and killing Trooper James Brammer. Though seriously wounded and losing blood, Hicks tries to get away and call for help. Uh. Alma Crawford goes to her husband, who tells her to get out of the house. Get out of here. Go! Crawford fires one last shot, killing himself. I've been shot. I need to use your phone. Hicks goes to a neighbor's to call for help. This is Trooper Hicks, officer down at 441 Main. Send an ambulance. Hicks, beginning to lose consciousness, goes back outside to wait for help. Trooper Hicks doesn't know that Crawford has taken his own life and that his partner has been killed. Trooper First Class Ronald Hicks is still recovering from his wound. Trooper First Class James Brammer served with the West Virginia State Police for 11 years. He is survived by a wife, two children, and an older brother who is also a trooper. When you walk in, you